stepped up since camp. Uh, Vincent Gray, of course. Jerry Kelly Powell. And DJ Tony. So that's about it. How does Ambry respond to his injury that he's dealing with this question? Well, uh, Ambry been cool. He been good. He been working hard. Just getting back ready. So, I mean, he looks pretty fine to me. I know you've gone through some stuff here in between yourself. Right. Did you have any advice just based on that, bro? Uh, just keep your head up. Keep pushing. Don't listen to the outside noise and just take care of yourself. Did you sense that it was a struggle for him? That's probably a little bit different situation than yeah. like coming back from an injury. Uh, uh, yeah, it was a little bit of struggle for him, but since me and him went to the same high school, I know what he can do, uh, can deal with. So I know he he's flat body. Uh, why is this a championship caliber team? Uh, we have uh, pieces on offense, pieces on defense, and we like a team. Like we come together, we hang out with each other. So yeah. Whether it be you know Vincent or Ambry when he comes back or you know any Jalen like how 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 do you kind of go about your business not having David there like how is that different for you this year? I mean it, it's real different, but uh, like life moves on, so uh, I just getting my relationship better with the young kids and just have fun, I guess. Is there anything you do to kind of try to bring them up a little bit? Uh, I just tell them like as soon as you get in like. It's just like playing football when you was a young kid. Just everybody have fun. You don't get too tense out there. So, yeah. Hey, and your final final year at Michigan. I mean, you, is your brother giving you any advice? What to expect in your last year at, at Michigan at all? Uh, all he said was just don't take this for granted. Just have fun your last year, because the time will pass and you will move on. So that's about it. Vince Gray is a relatively young guy. Right. How have you seen him handle the added reps? And uh, he got it pretty real. Uh, like, they said a real good athlete, so that's not none of them really. So he just been going out there every day. Who's the toughest receiver for you to cover on this team? Nico Collins. That's probably that's probably uh, the toughest. Not by far though, because you still got Tariq, Donovan Fuse Jones, Ronnie Bell. So, but Nico, yeah. Is that the Tariq. Size? Huh? Is that the size? That oh yeah, Nico. Uh, Nico don't really drop the ball for real, so. Once he dropped the ball, you would be happy about it. So, yeah. Is Tariq still the same guy as last year and the year before? Uh, athletic wise? And oh, yeah. Field? Tariq actually got better like with, with his quickness okay. and uh, catching the ball and, and traffic like that. So, yeah. Talk about the urgency among the veterans whose time's running out about right. winning a championship for this team. Uh, the urgency is there. It's, we push everybody harder and harder because we ain't never win nothing since we've been here. So, we're just trying to. Make sure our last year that we come out with some. Harbaugh mentioned DJ Turner as a guy that could right. play pretty early. But what what have you seen out of him? What's allowed him to uh, get there? DJ came in snapping. Actually, he he a pretty good athlete. Uh, he listened well, and he just want to get better every day. What have you seen from Brad Hawkins? A lot of people talk about how much better he's gotten in coverage. Oh, Brad, Brad Hawkins is one of the top uh, cover guys on the team. He actually my roommate too. So I'm a, I'm gonna praise him a little bit. Uh, I mean, he's just a really good uh, player. Last off season, when some of your teammates decided to go pro, what was it that made you feel like it was the right thing for you to come back? Uh, just think I had some some unfinished business here that I gotta take care of at Michigan. Just go in there and just dominate each each day. So, yeah. yeah, what does that unfinished business look like? What, what do you see as kind of the outcome of that if it, I mean, it goes the way you envision? I can't remember to win. We ain't win nothing. So <laughs> they got to come back and try to do it again. Do you feel the pressure? No, nah, I don't really feel no pressure at all. It's just we've been doing this our whole life. We just got to come together, come as one, and just win the Big Ten Championship. Personally, what have you strived to improve on this year for, for yourself? Uh, just – Giving more effort, just finishing plays more, and just that's about it. But I just get better at everything. So, from your perspective, how much better is this offense? How much different? Uh, this, this offense is way better. Uh, they faster, they more comfortable. Uh, they just be going there, try to uh, kick our butts every day. So, yeah, they more savvy. How good is this wide receiver for that you go against? Uh, it's real good. To me, it's the best in the nation. So. Just going against them, we got uh, some big guys, we got some small, quick ones, we got, uh, we got the whole package, so they're just one of the best.
Have you felt the need to uh, to take anything else on your shoulders, given that, that Ambry is working his way back? Um, is there a role that you take on to kind of help the younger guys compensate for that? Uh, yeah, I try to uh, take on a role as a leader, but I know that the younger guys, they're going to step up to the plate if Ambry is absent, so we'll be ready. I guess on the flip side of that, do you anticipate that teams will maybe look at you and try to throw away from you, knowing that the guy on the other side maybe is not as experienced? I mean, I really don't know what he's going to have to see through the game, so, yeah. What's Shea better at this year than he was last year? Uh, he just more comfortable. He's just his second year around, so he know what to do and what not to do. So just trusting his receivers is about it. Are you guys able to, to get out on the field for an actual game? Coming week, especially uh, after the way last season. Oh, yeah, we ready. We've been ready to play since December uh, 31st after our, uh, after our game at the Peach Bowl. So we just been ready, just more hungry. So, yeah.